Milk duds. <laughs> Howdy, partner. You're listening to the High Noon Podcast. Your host, Mason Smith. Hell yeah. Yeehaw, motherfucker. Welcome to a new episode of High Noon. Got my trusted sidekick. Motherfucking Nicholas the Pack. And first time guest, Mickey Housley, everybody. Bah, 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 bah. Hell yeah. How's it going, bud? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Thanks. Glad to finally have you on. Yeah, I know. It's been a minute. Fuck we, yeah, dude. A lot of close calls, but yeah, we, we are here. Fuck yeah, man. And uh, so what are, are you back? You're back in town from the road, right? Yep, yep, yep. Back Where was town. the last place you were at? Uh, in working, I was in... Uh, I don't even remember. I was just in New York, but that was more like a family thing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, show wise, uh, I was somewhere in like uh, South Carolina, Georgia area. At uh, uh, clubs or just doing you co- just... colleges? Oh yeah. no, shit! So like a corporate type gig, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very cool. Do yeah. they have rule? Do they give you rules when you get there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have to work clean? For the most part, I used to, but now I kind of like you know, kind of like say what I want. I always ask the Admin advisors or whatever, like right. yeah, what? yeah, 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 like what, what, how can I go? And then I always be like, Dell Ham at Dell, <laughs> I'm tongue tied, hell damn ass, okay. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's oh, fine. okay, they'll give you a list of what to try yeah, to keep yeah, out, yeah, yeah. And, and if they're cool with that, then I know I can push it a little bit further, but not too crazy. So, like, right. you know, the f bombs and shit, and then you know, kind of stay away from that, but I gotcha. Yeah. And but as far as content though, it's not like don't talk about sex. There's none of that weird so, shit. Sometimes, yeah, politics can be tricky, um, but I just kind of gauge the audience. Yeah, I just read the room a yeah, little bit. If I feel like they're with it, then then yeah, I'm going to go for it. And sometimes you, you'll you be doing all that clean stuff and it ain't really like, you know It's not saying? quite hitting. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, let's, let's edge it up a little bit. And then you see like, oh, they're ready. And then the administrator, they kind of got no choice but to like, well, this is going a little bit better. So. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. He can't get onto you when the whole crowd is like, yeah, we love this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, I only got in trouble like one time, and it wasn't even really my fault. I brought an opener. and uh, Oh, so and he he said something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He did a, he did a uh, it was funny because we both did like Mexican jokes, and they didn't like his Mexican jokes. <laughs> I love how you say Mexican. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because my dad calls them Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they're down here. No, I say Hispanic, but I mean. Yeah, yeah. no, you're good. But yeah, I mean, we. we Trust me, you haven't even scratched the surface of what we we were going to get canceled for in 20 years. I I only just found out that it's not good to say it's a a way. I was calling it, we were barking for a show at Vulcan, Mm -hmm. and I kept saying it's an all Hispanic show. Yeah, you can't even say Hispanic. He told me I had to say Latino. I said, say it's an all Latino lineup. That sounds yeah. way better than it's a Hispanic show yeah, 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 <laughs> coming yeah. out of that voice. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's the accent is where is why people have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. It's like if I sounded like I like if I said Latina or how do you say it? Latino. It's all Latino it's lineup. Latino. Yeah. I got, sure a, I got a bunch of Hispanic racist jokes and I've always <laughs> got to be careful how to <laughs> but I love I love you know I'm, I'm learning how to speak Spanish so I love oh, cool. I love I love Latin culture or yeah yeah like, right I love like, Mexican food yeah 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 see Hispanic I had Taco Latino Bell food. oh yeah oh I had Taco <laughs> Bell today you like Taco Bell that's his favorite I Mexican used to food. yeah it, it sometimes it, it it'll sometimes it'll get you yeah but for the most part my belly's used to it yeah chalupas are the best oh I like the uh the uh, cheese quesadilla add beef Add beef. Yeah, yeah. Okay, damn. Damn. <laughs> Do a number seven with a large Baja Blast. Yeah. Soft taco, no lettuce. Not even five minutes and we're repeating. No, no. Ourselves. No the, lettuce. Like you, Yeah, no lettuce. <laughs> the little bit of healthy stuff you get from Taco Bell, you, you're removing that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Before he says it, the other day he had a burrito. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he got down to the very last bite and had one speck of lettuce ruined his palate for a whole. I was, I was actually going to tell, tell you about when I go to this, there's a real Mexican restaurant by my house. And it took me like three times going to get that I need to say uh, rice and beans only. Mm -hmm. And then they'll take the lettuce and all that shit off. Yeah. Because first I was saying no lettuce, no guacamole, but it was too much for them. Yeah. So they just were still just putting it on there. They probably thought you were saying add lettuce, add guacamole. And then then I'd have to go. Taco Bell's. Give me a plate, please. 
and scrape that shit off. Uh, Taco Bell's done it. They're gonna, I would scrape do you it like off. Cilantro? No. Taco Bell's going to I don't want it. tastes like soap. Is that the little... The, no, that tastes like onion. The little round green chunks. No, that's a, that's a uh, chive. Or a chive. Green, Chives, yeah. nope. Gross. Too close to onions. <laughs> uh-uh. Taco Bell's going to be like, what you, what you mean real Mexican restaurant? <laughs> like, <'cause>, yeah. <laughs> like, this is a real Mexican restaurant. We were the most. <laughs> they right. share a building with KFC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, KFC kind of sucks, though. I love KFC. Really? I don't really care for it. I think it get a bad rap, but I like, I like that chick chicken skin. Yeah, the the just the fried chicken skin, like with no meat. Yeah, I mean I eat the meat too. I mean if I have to, but yeah. the, they don't they don't just sell chicken skin. <laughs> yeah, don't they? Isn't that a thing? Let me get a bucket of chicken skin. Oh, oh my god, that'd be horrible. <laughs> oh, I dude. thought that they did. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is. They get a it talk, KFC get a bad rap for being I guess clone chicken, but like I, yeah. I, I love I love that fake ass chicken. Yeah, like, I mean. My thing is, most of the ones I've been in have been super slow and like they seem dirty. Oh, they dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I go to a Taco Bell yeah, that <laughs> that is not the. I mean, I've never been inside, so I just pretend that it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> I love dirty for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, it wouldn't surprise. I was thinking on the way here. I might. I hope it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. But I was curious. I, I might have to take a shit in one of these episodes. You haven't done it yet. Uh, I usually am pretty good about not getting up throughout the whole thing. Yeah, don't, Can don't. we put a camera in the bathroom? Yeah, for sure. Oh, don't, we'll don't. use Nick's phone. <laughs> don't yeah. make take don't the phone. It'll be a POV of the <laughs> toilet. Don't make it my episode, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, there's no respect for me. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, where are you from? Houston. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Houston, Texas. Nice. Um, and that's where you started too. What did I? You were talking about Chicago earlier. Yeah, man. So my journey was. Uh, I've been I've been doing comedy fourteen years. Oh fuck yeah! So my my first five years was in Houston. My second five years was in Chicago, and then I did a year in New York. But that the pandemic happened. So then that brought me down here, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy being back in Texas. Not really? quite not quite Houston, but I'm close enough that I can go home when I want to. Uh-huh. And, uh And and you know Austin is. You know, yeah, so like, where is that right so, now? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Um, did you like uh, how? So, how much time did you get to be in New York before it before the pandemic? Seven months. Oh, no, so not a lot at nah, all. Nah. So, did you get to did you get to do any of the clubs though while you were there? A little bit, man. My uh, one of my boys, uh, he he uh, he's like the man at LOL Times Square, which is like uh, saying you're the sexiest person in Utah, but. He he was he was the man at that club. It it was it it ain't one of the major clubs in New York. I've heard of LOL. Yeah, yeah. But the cool thing about LOL is they do a bunch of shows. You right. You know what I'm saying? And so uh you, you can get up like you can you can go up like four times a night at that one club. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause they 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 have two going on. They have two rooms, so they'd have uh, they stagger the time. So they'll have like a seven o'clock in this room, a seven forty five here, and then an eight thirty in this room, and then like a nine thirty in this room. So so you're able to just bounce back. Yeah, and you're forth. bouncing back and forth. Cool. So so you can get a full night of working out just at that one club or whatever. <laughs> so my boy was established there. So I did that club mainly, and then uh, there was a. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with New York, but there's a, a just north of New York, a town called Yonkers, mm-hmm. and so they had Yonkers Comedy Club. So I did, I did that, and then I was starting to work my way in some of the other ones. But um, I lived in Boston for eight years. Okay, okay, yeah. Every time, see, it's it's they. If someone doesn't know, it's not funny when I say it. You guys giggle at yeah, me. I didn't. <laughs> how was that? How was that related to Yonkers? Well, because that's how I know the area. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Like I would go to Jersey all the time because my ex-wife's family's from Northern New Jersey. Okay. So like I'm very familiar with New York and uh, Mass- New England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The comedy scene. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy scene was cool, man. But I, I hate I hate living in New York. Really? Man. Yeah. See, I love the Northeast. Really? Mm. Can't wait to live there. Yeah, mm. love it. Yeah, I hated that. I, I like I go visit like visiting New York is the shit. But, yeah, but man, living there, man, too many people, uh, rats. There's uh, rats here in Chicago. Man, not like yeah, not yeah. Did you prefer? So you liked Chicago though? Chicago was great. Do you like cold weather? Nah, hell no. Oh, I love it. Nah. <laughs> oh, 
Love it. Chicago is the best city, but besides the cold. Yeah, my cousin lived. She went to that culinary school. She talked. She loved Chicago. Yeah, I still have never been. Yeah, Chicago, Chicago's and they're, and they're a drunk city. I know you like to drink. Yeah, and so yeah, they get they get wasted. That's all you do in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the bad dude. Being drunk in a snow blizzard <laughs> yeah. is so much fun. Which yeah. is crazy. That's what everyone does here, though. Too. Everyone just drinks in general. Like, oh yeah. Fun. Yeah, but except for it's just like hot as fuck outside. Yeah. Uh, it is fun to drink like at the river or something like that. You know, on mm-hmm. water. Mm-hmm. That's all. I do love a lake. I just it's so goddamn hot and no one I know has a boat so. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna try to, we're, I'm not gonna go sit on the dock. Yeah, we're gonna try to change that. We 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 trying to get a boat. Oh, for yeah. real? Yeah. Nice. Uh, you know they say break out another thousand. That's what you need. Oh, if you want to get a boat. Well, boat. Yeah, it's a. It's an yeah, acronym. Break, oh, break out another. Oh, okay, okay. Just because everyone just, says when you own a boat, it's just nothing but trouble. Yeah. My fan, my ex wife's uh, parents. Like, should they they still live right on the lake and they got a boat uh-huh. and he's constantly working on it. Really? Damn. But he buys old shit. Okay. So it's like Yeah, if you buy something nice, that's Yeah, you know, like a if you bought a bra- if you buy a newer, like a nicer boat, you yeah. know. And well, uh, and party barges. I, I, I got I was just about to say, I love a party barge. When yeah. I was a kid, I thought party barges were lame as fuck. Mm-hmm. And then I realized when I got older, oh, these are the best. You're just sitting on the water mm-hmm. and just drinking, chilling with yeah. music going. Yeah. And if you get hot, just jump in, get back you out, stand up, walk around. You're not yeah. confined yeah. to a it's little the, You can put thing. a grill on them. I, gr- I grew up on. Them. I don't know how legal that is, but people grill on them. Yeah. The one we rented uh, back uh, years ago had a slide on the top. Okay, yeah. you just yeah, right into the water. Man. Oh, yeah, dope. party barges are where it's at. You just made me not want to get a boat now. No, oh. no, no. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're you going to get a party barge, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah get a party no, barge. Yeah, Pontoon yeah, yeah. boat, dude, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Badass. Yeah, that would be sweet. You take a bunch of comics out. What about comedy on the boat? What y'all think about yeah. that? Like, yeah, like tie a bunch of boats up. Well, and or, then. Or just, or, you're talking about one boat. I'm comedy. talking about one yeah, boat. I mean, you can yeah. do a party barge. Like, like, I don't, like, I ain't been on a lot of boats, but if you had one that was like big enough. Yeah. To where you could sit an audience, maybe of like a party yeah, barge, you could one hundred percent squeeze at like ten chairs on one. Okay, I was thinking twenty, but I mean, depending on the all, size of the I boat, think that on the party, it depends on the capacity. Of yeah, the yeah, they make different. But, they what, make big but what they do, like in summertime, you know, everybody gets together and ties their boats up. You show up on the party barge with the big ass like speakers and the mic, uh-huh. and then you just pull up right in front of the whole, pull up right in front of them all tied together. Yeah. That's I'll, what, I'll have yeah. them all turn their music down and then just start doing comedy. That's what okay. I thought you were talking okay, about. Okay. And that way you're yeah. doing it more like the, the audience is on their boats, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. doing their thing. Yeah. And then that way, you know, I mean, if you say anything, anything like um, Chris Rocking, willing to get slapped, they'll have to swim to you to get you. Yeah. You, know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you see yeah, him yeah. come and just start right, right, right. right. I'll be gone by the time you get here. Yeah. Just <laughs> fire it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd that would dope. be pretty cool. Though. I think that would be cool to have like the entire party barge be the stage mm-hmm. and with just a bunch of speakers set up, right. and then you just go out, you just go up to different boat parties yeah. and start yeah. telling yeah. jokes. Yeah, 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 especially like without them knowing. Oh, mm-hmm. like Gor- gorilla! They're like, comedy, what is this guy dude? doing? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. what do you do for work? <laughs> what, what was that? A Mercury? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? An Evan Rude? <laughs> That'd be dope, man. <laughs> an Evan Rude is like an off, uh, not as nice of a. a Motor as a Mercury is why oh, that's funny. Those, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like Mason, man. He, he'll he give you the joke, then educate you. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got it. He, he has to tell you about these puns from the 19 or these jokes from 1995. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> uh, no, the Redneck Yacht Club, the song by, uh, uh, I don't, it's not Trace Adkins. Uh, and the Red, oh, I think it's Billy Currington, maybe. It's the Redneck Yacht Club. <laughs> Got your Mercuries and your Evan Roods. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. He says, see that? He says, uh, there, that's Bob. Had his first beer at 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. Okay. Man, I, you guys I, need to look this song up, okay? So your, 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 your music genre is rock? I like music? all. I like uh, so much different music. Okay, okay. I've been really into retro. It's called... Uh, the station I found is re- Retro Road Trip, and it's like newer bands, but they're playing in the style of like like the seven, 60s and 70s music, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I've been obsessed with it. Okay, yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah, and there's like a lot, and it's like a bigger band. Like there's usually like some trumpets in there, yeah. some pianos. He's getting really into ska right now is what he's trying to say. No. <laughs> yeah. I see. You like ska? The only ska I would like is Sublime. You like Shreela Manifesto? No, I do like Stick Figure. I don't know. 
but that's more like reggae. Gotcha. So educate me on this. What exactly is uh, e- EDM? Yeah. It's fading. It's on its way out. <laughs> EDM is. It's, um, it had its peak. I was in the peak of it. Yeah. I was a fest. I was a festy rat. Okay. Yeah, I got so a bass far. nectar tattoo on my arm. Yeah. So EDM, it stands for like electronic dance music. So okay. a lot of different types of music get like blended together. And mm-hmm. basically what it was was EDM came through because like house and techno has been big for years. Right. It's, Since it the got, 90s. Yeah. It got big. It started in Chicago in the 80s and yeah. got huge in Europe. Yeah. And then now it's like transferring back over here. But it was just like at that whole party like lifestyle to that kind of dance music all like hit in like 2000 between 2008 2014 yeah. that's when like i was into it going to all the festivals and stuff um but it's like edm is just a general term pe- that people don't know like the different genres between like, right drum and bass okay. uh house techno deep house tech dubstep house, yeah. dubstep all that so it's there's different like t- house and techno is not going anywhere that's going to be around for uh, like, drum right. and bass will be like around for a while but yeah. i mean like right. it's the fad of it like now whole, the whole generation like the last generation like discovered it was like oh this is a fun thing to do and now the new generation's like yeah we some yeah we get it you know right 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 so you so know? when people say uh uh edm concert or show it's just people going to, to see a dj and- but it could, it could be, be it could be, could be, it, be it could yeah. be a complete it could be any ge- type of genre yeah. you know? okay okay and like the people that don't know the difference between the genres that don't like that type of music will call it edm right oh, okay, just okay. to give it an overall blanket because it is or just leave yeah or just yeah, leave. yeah. <laughs> anything it's pretty much like if there's a dj up there it's okay. Dude, okay they're doing this thing at vulcan now called uh emo night mm-hmm. and it's a dj who's just playing music that we would listen to when we were in like eighth grade yeah like do you remember like uh stuff like good charlotte and shit like that not really. It was like it's like e- they call it like what like would like Blink One Eighty Two be okay? Okay, I got you. Like is that, that emo style, music? Like Vans Warped or some type of music? Yeah. Not like, but not like the screamy type. It's more of the yeah, like, not the hardcore. Okay, yeah, it's not yeah. The, hardcore the whiny, the, the whiny, uh, the whiny emotional stuff. That's yeah. what they call emo. You know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And but it, but the point being is it's a DJ. But playing that a band song, so yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. here's my question: the ones, the ones I've been to, it's just it's a DJ. He's playing that. But like, at least when you go see like a house or techno DJ, they're playing other people's songs. Yeah, but the the, the talent behind that is they're able to mix and transition right. that song without you knowing that yeah. the song is changed. But I'm saying I prefer that. That's okay. better. Yeah, because yeah. the ones emo nights that I've gone to, it's they're guys just hit and play. Yeah, he's, it's just been a playlist, and it's just been like the song ends, and then the next one starts. It's not like any cool like mixing. Anybody can or, do that. Yeah, anybody and can you know do what that. else is sort of lame about it? Uh, they have two hype guys, these hype men, that jump up on the DJ booth, and they're singing along with it. And trying to get everyone else to sing along because it's all like music that people at our, that our age, it's like a nostalgia. <laughs> it's like but I just find it to be so lame. Yeah, you like, need a hype man. That means you a, you a whack know? DJ. Uh, uh, like you know, dummies. <laughs> hey, so let me let me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was gonna say something else, and then I, I didn't want to be too harsh because I because, you know, I work there. But so when y'all say whiny emotional could it be a song that's slow that they like speed no, up uh, no no it's got to be like it's the fast rocker music. well no they do like, have that miss, I can't, miss we you can't, yeah we can't like play it for you it's just like a certain tone of the time i got you, you I know got you. like it's really a sound that if you grew up in that time i know every song they're playing yeah yeah, yeah. but it's like i'm not into the idea of paying to go see someone I can do that in my truck. Right. I have all those songs on my like, iPod. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I could, yeah. yeah, I have Spotify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, man. I have that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could yeah. pay you to do it for cheaper. That, yeah, I mean, oh, dude, you I, can make some money doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just go up there and I just go like this. You just plug your phone. Yeah, in and I'm just, but I pretend. <laughs> that so do, does it? Does it attract a lot of? Uh, oh, people love it. We yeah, st- I was a lot gonna of- say nice looking. I mean, uh, you know, I'm happily married, by the way, but nice looking ladies and uh, sorta. But it's like goth chicks. Oh, well, never mind. Still goth, huh? <laughs> well, they're doing it. It's obviously you know normal n- now age people, but they dress up uh, like it's they like dress a, up it's like, like they used to in middle school, exactly. And high school, like mm. when they were like oppressed teenagers. <laughs> and, and by the way, it's There's a, a g- bunch of white people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, but I mean, don't Spiky get me wrong. Dose. It's a good money night. Like a lot of people come. It's very popular. Okay. I just think it's lame. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No offense, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh yeah. People have a good time at it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, but uh, I just recently went to my first uh, EDM show in 
years, I went to uh, what is called Concourse. Concourse Project. Yeah, I've gone yeah. there a couple uh, times to see our, some good DJs. It's yeah. fun. Uh, okay. Chad, uh, my uh, uh, I don't know if you know Chad, but my DJ, roommate DJ Chad. No, he's a comic. <laughs> DJ yeah, Chad. That actually, <laughs> DJ Chad. He looks like he could be a DJ. <laughs> he does, but uh, but he uh, is like uh, uh, the head bartender at a really fancy place downtown. Okay, and uh, he met this these this French these French DJs. Yeah, and uh, they gave us they gave him uh, free tickets or whatever. So I went, and uh, it was honestly it was pretty fun. Okay, I was wearing my tracksuit. And this really hot chick goes, she stops me and goes, oh my God, is that designer? And I just go, $30 off Wish. Yeah, yeah. And she walked away. You mean, so you just lied and said yes? <laughs> when you say track, you was running tr- like a like No, a I running have suit. a really cool plaid. Uh, you know the movie The Gentleman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know Colin Farrell's blue track suit? Uh-huh. I have that one. Oh, okay, okay. I All also right. have another one that's gray and red. Okay. They're really dope. I thought you just got done running and you no. went to the show. I don't. I do. I look like I run. <laughs> no, uh, n- <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Dude, I thought you were in shape, dude. I hey. By the way, I ran for the first time like two months ago because okay. I was gonna be late for a spot and I ran. I got there and he was like, "Oh, you're up in three. Oh. I was furious. And you had three people. Yeah, yeah. So my point is, I didn't need to run. <laughs> I had shin splints. You was pissed like, damn, like I ran for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I hate running. Oh, you ran to get to the show in time. Yeah, physically ran oh, okay. on foot. And you hated it. Hated it. Damn. I hate, do you run? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for fun or for exercise? I guess that's the same thing. Yeah, huh? both. Yeah, yeah, both. Do you run to no music? Do you run to silence or just the sound of your feet? Yeah, or I, do run, you wear I, headphones? Run, I run to, to mental to do lists. Like, I need to do this shit. Okay, like, so no music, nothing. Nah, you, uh, I will. Uh, nah, no music. Uh, I play a Spanish podcast. Okay. Oh, because you're trying to learn Spanish. Yes. Are you getting? Is it you getting? Uh, is it working? Is yeah. I'm. I'm all right. I'm all right. I can. Uh, I can like. Uh, it takes me time, but like if you talk to me like at a moderate pace, I can I can understand. Yeah, and uh, gives your brain time to I think need what's you. that word mean. I need you yeah, when yeah. I go to that Mexican restaurant so let's, they don't fuck do my order up let's, anymore. Let's, let's do it, vamos. <laughs> yeah, uh, cerveza. No, no, yeah, 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 rapido, uh, <laughs> rapido, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I so like if you like went to uh, like Mexico and walked around for like a few days, you'd probably be able to. Yeah, I can, find I can, your I can, way I can, around. I can manage. Yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. Are you doing like Babbel too, or are you just teaching yourself through listening to podcasts? Uh, it's this it's this online course okay. that you that I download and borrow. Uh, Spanish with Paul, I think it's the best. I think it's the best way to learn Spanish. Cool. Because he he and he's not even Spanish, Spanish. He's American, but he learns Spanish and he's teaching it. And and uh, by far the the best way to learn. Like he he break it down and and then he has native speakers that. That they'll like they'll chime in with you know and you know for help so you right. can hear it th- from an actual native speaker uh-huh. too. But yeah, it's it, it's the best. I got, I downloaded Babbel too. I didn't I didn't really use it. Yeah, like that. I did I did Duolingo and and uh, you know. All so that. now Duolingo. did you? I used it for a bit. Duolingo's. No, nah, Duolingo, uh, man. Yeah, they they'll, they'll they'll like you'll complete the whole course and and more you, like you, Duol Gringo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You th- ah. you think you're ready to speak Spanish, then you get in the room where like, damn, Duolingo sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So did you did you want to learn it for other? I mean, because it's a smart thing to figure to know Spanish. It's mm-hmm. great. But did you do it for fun? I pretty pretty much, man. It just feels good to like know another language. A hundred percent. But I, I, yeah. I, I think I, I, think <laughs> I would the, love to speak Spanish, yeah. but I'm not going to take the time <laughs> to learn it. I think the bug hit me at a young age because my uh, my uncle was married to a lady from a uh, a Latino lady, and mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and so you know she talked to me a little bit like when I was young. And my first grade teacher was also from Mexico, so I think I think between them two. The bug hit me at a young age, and then uh, as as an adult, I want to learn and stuff. Okay, like that. yeah, it's, uh, it's hard though. When I, oh, there we go. You know that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I found out that you didn't have to have a second language uh, in high school to graduate, Re- I quit. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah, it off. Yeah. <laughs> that high school Spanish don't really. No. It's like Duolingo. Yeah. Well, you're also with like. What twenty other kids? Yeah, and yeah you're yeah. all at different paces. Yeah, and the yeah, teacher yeah. just wants to get through it. Yeah, yeah, they don't give a damn. Man, I was I was doing good in high school, and I was I was in Spanish three, and then uh, my teacher that I had basically for two years, he was like a great teacher. Then he left, and they brought in this new teacher. It was his first year teaching, and 
he couldn't handle students. Like we kicked his ass, man. Yeah. And, 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 and didn't, didn't learn shit like after that. Like <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, uh in, like Houston High or yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. How many uh, kids did you graduate with? Uh, I think my graduating class was three hundred three, and I was I was like. 293 out of. Oh, I thought you were going to say way more, many more people than that. Because nah. I graduated with like 290. Yeah, I think ours was like, it might have been like 293 or, or I remember, I, I remember I, I was, I graduated like in the top 98%. I was like um, uh, 230 something, I really? think. Yeah. Oh, man. I graduated with like a 1.75. Yeah, that, that was, that was me, like 1.6 or yeah. 1.5, something like that. I saw, and I'm a smart, I was a smart kid, man. I just did hated homework. I did meet, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated school. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick, what I like, was, Nick, what was your GPA? In high school, it was... Uh, Nick a, was smart. No, my, in high school, I think it was like maybe a 2.3 or 2.5. And then when I graduated college, I think it was like a 3.1. Okay. In college was So you did better in college. Yeah, but also like I took... You paid for it, so... I took eight years off between graduating and then going to college. Yeah, you got mature so. and shit. Yeah, I went to school for free. After 26, I was legally declared independent and I didn't have to claim my parents' income. So fi- financial aid was like, oh, you're below the poverty line? Here's oh, a bunch oh, of money. I see what you mean. Okay. I just, your kids should wait then. Hell yeah. And then and then it's on top of that, good I'm idea. they gave me money for books, downloaded every single book I needed. <laughs> on just, ty- just, just typed in the title of the book on Google, comma, PDF. Boom. Yeah. Brought it right up. Yeah. Downloaded it right to my iPad. Took my iPad with me to, to class. So you didn't have to pay for them books. Didn't have to pay for shit. Was highlighting in them and shit yeah, with the yeah, little yeah, app, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. little. Fuck yeah! Bought myself a little stylus and was did, like. Now, how did you know that after twenty six that that could? Ha- did you just look that up when you were eighteen? Well, no, because I just kind of figured it out. They were just like, I was like, man, I kind of want to go back to school, but like, I'd, and someone said, well, like, once you're, tw- or it was twenty four originally, but while right as that, right as I found this out. Obama changed the insurance thing to 26. Right. And so I mean, then I yeah. wait. And then at the point, I wasn't really ready to go back to school then. But then I waited. And then as soon as I turned 26, that next semester, I filed my taxes. I'd made like 12 grand that year. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah, right. And they were just like, oh, yeah, here you go. They gave me, I ended up getting like $3,500 a semester for, for all four years of, or for, all two years of my like actual uh, time at the university because I went to community college first. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I went back, I started slow. I went back with one class a semester. Next next year, I went uh, two classes year or semester after that. Went three, and then I did the, I did three all the way up until I was ready to transfer. And then I went full time and I worked out a deal with my employer. So I was still working full time. I was getting paid full time hours while. Um, and also while work, you were living at home. Uh, no, I mean, my family was living together. We had a house. So I was living with my mom, my grandma, my brother. But me and my brother were on the lease. We had the house. Is that the one you still have? No, that's oh. it. I, no, I own. Oh, now I no, I bought that like a couple years before I moved out here. Fucking entrep- entrepreneur man. over here. I might, I might, I might, I might Smart. go back to school, man. That yeah, that's uh, people should definitely one class at a time. Too. Just, like, yeah, just they don't make slow. that public yeah. knowledge, I guess. Yeah, no, yeah, of course well, not. I gotta but, find somebody to live with too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you you don't, you don't have a place here? No, I do, but I'm, uh, if I'm going to go back to college, I'm, I'm, oh god, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You say you were staying with parents. I, I, yeah. let me do well, no, I mean, mama, let me my, back. Well, no, but the thing, what, what happened was, was my my stepdad had died, and me and my brother had got a house, and my mom and my grandma were living like in this little condo right down the street from us. We had a four bedroom house. We were paying about two hundred dollars less a month than my mom was paying for her condo with her and my grandma, and we had me and my brother had probably had like. Within six months, I had like two or three roommates like move in and move out. We're like, we can't be doing this. Yeah. And then mom and grandma were like just living on top of each other basically in this yeah. tiny condo. So we're like, we, th- we we talked about it. We told my mom and grandma to move, just move in with us once our last roommate took off. Yeah. And then we had a full four bedroom house that we all lived in. So it was kind of like back in the family. Gotcha, but I mean, gotcha. we were all paying our own bills. Did you ever, stuff. did you ever get to go like, mom, we need the electrical money. Come on. You're late. No, it was good. <laughs> She was good. I think. Well, Don't be just turning the AC on, Grandma. No, no. I let them do whatever they wanted. You know, they, they were able. We, me and my brother. I think what it was was, because my mom was obviously just gonna pay my grandma's portion. You know, he wasn't a strict son. No. Yeah. My mom. My mom <laughs> grandma. My making me a sandwich. My mom's cool shit. My grandma would come out in the middle of the night to like grab some water, but like unbeknownst to her, like me and Matt, Matt, my roommate yeah. Matt Amos, and like our buddy Will. We had dropped acid like five, six hours earlier, and we we're just chilling in the living room, talking comedy, like yeah. being super quiet, not being loud at all. But like she'd come out and be like, 
oh hey boys how's it going we're like hey grandma just tripping balls on acid milkshakes and then uh, I had this one friend, Chris Cruz, hilarious comedian. Check him out, Chris Cruz Comedy. Um, <laughs> but he's a he's a bigger dude, and man, he snored so loud. So uh, after like enough time, my grandma lived with us. She'd Chris be, like, snooze. Chris would stay over after like go. we'd go out and do a show, and then we'd sleep, and then Chris would get up and go to work in the morning. So we'd get up, but then my grandma would come in like later on. There's like Chris, did, oh Chris, did the night last night, huh? And I was like, yeah. She's like, I could hear him snoring from my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Chad's a loud snore. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. Sounds like a fucking four hundred pound man in there, like just <laughs> <laughs> DJ Chad snoring yeah, DJ on the track. Uh, <laughs> DJ snoring. Let the yeah, beat that, drop. That's like that. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, let's do uh, let's do a segment. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let me get there. There we go. Yeah. So we're gonna do. I need a Chloe. Can I have another white claw? Oh, I thought Please. you brought your box over here. No, I wanted to keep mine cold. Um, they stay cold if you drink them fast enough. Anyway. <laughs> that sounds like something a drinker would say. Yeah, that sounds like drink it fast enough. It never, never gets cold. Uh, yeah, when people say my ass melted, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, drink my it quicker. Yeah, you drink it fast enough. Ass melted. Damn, <laughs> Mickey, do you want another one? Wash these up. Uh, sure, yeah. Two, one. babe. Oh, and you, you know what's funny? So I told you, I, black cherry is my favorite. Yeah, and I have a least favorite, and you picked it. Really? Because you said your least favorite was black, black cherry, cherry, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't stand the. I mean, I'll still dr- I'll drink all the flavors. Thank, Thank you. All. But uh, oh, yeah, we getting so saucy today on this yeah, podcast. Saucy. Yeah, I'll do all the flavors, but grapefruit's my least. Uh, I also oh, I hate watermelon. The yeah. water, the watermelon flavored one. It's yeah, too it's weird. It's, it's a weird funky. Flavor, yeah. It's I a like funky. I really like the pineapple one. You know, somebody called I, me a grapefruit one time. Yeah, a homeless dude. Cause I ain't giving no money. And he just goes, you're a fucking grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit. That's a hilarious thing to do. Start just calling. Like, don't get mad or say anything really disrespectful. But be like, you goddamn green bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one sounds a little harsher yeah, than grapefruit. Fruit. It might, might, have green, been fruit, might have been fruitcake. One of the, uh, one fruit of the, cake. Now, that's a common one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, fruit was, cake. That's what they call like gay people back in the yeah, day. Yeah, goddamn like, persimmon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at this fucking apricot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds really bad, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking pomegranate. Yeah. Uh, it's goddamn kiwi. Oh, that's a zoo. That's a zoo. Man, hey, but I do, I do love a good old passion fruit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mason likes all his fruits passionate. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Jail tells everybody. Ooh, I'm locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. Dude, we don't get we don't get flagged for copyright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. I don't I don't sound good enough for uh, they like that wasn't even. Uh, <laughs> I did hear a loophole for playing music as if you're riffing on top of it or 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 talking over it that it doesn't it won't get flagged. You want to try it right now? No, 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 no. We got <laughs> flagged. I do some more Dude, research. We we used to do uh, bad boys, bad boys, the theme song yeah. for that for this segment. Yeah. And the first one we released, it got flagged. Damn. The first episode. The first well, the episode first we one that we that. used. Oh, that. Okay, okay. But yeah. uh, so you got some, uh, you got a few arrest stories, right? Yeah, man. I used to stay in jail. Yeah. Really? What yeah. was your longest consecutive stint? Three days. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> I used to stay in jail. <laughs> yeah, man. Three days. Three days. They call me Three Day Mickey. Three, three, yeah. three, three. Did you have to check? Was it when you three had to check half. yourself in, like three. as a court thing, oh, man. on Friday and nah, get out man. Sunday? Never turn myself in, man. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, 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 Mason, Mason I think told about him. himself. Really? I think it about it. A, yeah. There was a lot that went into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about it, but then you know, you you like, damn, I got all these warrants and stuff, man. I, I might as well just sit it out. And then you talk yourself up, and then you're like, nah, you know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't doing that. But yeah, man, hell yeah, man, I used to go to jail all the time, man, because you know Texas, you freaking, uh, they got all these rules, no insurance, uh, inspection stickers, you know, so many stickers, tags, license plates, all that stuff. And if you don't pay that, they freaking uh, give you all these tickets. You do, yeah. you miss court, you get a warrant. FTA, FTA. They just they, builds. They get you. You go to freaking court, and uh, I mean, you go to jail. You you sit out your ticket. Then if you promise to pay and you don't, you get what they call a uh, capious warrant. Yeah. Uh, and, and so capious Christie. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, for, for freaking go to jail all the time. One time I get pulled over with my brother. 
Yeah, me and my brother went to jail at the same time. And he, That's he, pretty cool, though. It is, and, and, and until you you until they put you in, and then your brother decides to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people get mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, you got to put water on it. They say. I guess, I guess so, man. I'm freaking. I, Means I, courtesy flush. Yeah, Wait, yeah. So in like the cell room, people get mad. Oh yeah, shit. Mm-hmm. That's just like a tour bus. Yeah, sure. people. Yeah. Will, but that's why they say put some water on it. You just yeah. do a courtesy flush. My my brother like like me. I, I'm like I don't like taking shit in public restrooms. Oh, I love it. Really? Yeah. Damn, my brother. I'll poop. Was I don't like love that. it. I'll poop anywhere though. Yeah, my brother was like that. I'm like, man, how you take it shit <laughs> <laughs> in jail? Yeah. Like like you don't know these people, and 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 there's, there's no. <laughs> that's the problem. There's no curtain. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, it's wide open. Yeah, it's wide open, man. Like how the fuck? Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah. If when you gotta go, you gotta go. Like yeah. me, my three days. You think I didn't have to take a shit? Oh yeah. So you held it for three days? Hell yeah. Oh. I would have held it for two weeks if I had to. No way. Uh, really? I, it's I bothers would. you that much? Man, like at the time, I'm older now, but so now you'll do it. I, I probably yeah, maybe now, but yeah, at the time, like I, I can hold it out. <laughs> oh man, I just no way. Yeah, maybe yeah, the older I won't. You get you, man, someone you got a shit. Yeah, you, you just shit, yeah, you just. Go That's in. what I, I dude. I I sharted just like last week. I'm th- almost 32 years old. <laughs> thank, thank God I was at home. <laughs> I don't know though. Sometimes your body. I think knows that you're not in a place where you can shit. Cause I went hiking for and three days adapts. and I didn't for yeah. three days. Okay. I didn't want to shit in the yeah, woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like, dude, pooping in the woods is also an experience. Yeah. I just wasn't. Yeah. That. I would do that. I would do that. The only yeah. problem is you don't have like t- the toilet paper. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, if you're camping, you'd be prepared. Well, it was the whole thing. For sure. Where we were at, you had to dig a hole and all this shit. So. Oh, that's, that's like willy nilly fancy answer. pants camping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just courtesy, dude. So did anyone get mad when your brother took a shit in there? Well, well, in this particular cell, it, it was just uh, we were like in a a pre it, hard to explain it, but like we was in like a little uh, non crowded jail, and they were gonna take us to like the city or whatever. Okay. So it was it was like only five of us in there. I'm like sleeping, and I smell this fucking smell. Almost like, like a drunk. Oh tank. no! Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, no. Almost smell. like a small cell in a sheriff's like office. Like the drunk yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. holding. It's the, the holding, holding tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, man, what the hell is that smell? And I get up and 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 and. and and my brother, sure enough, is taking the shit. I'm like, damn, you like you, you're something else. Yeah. And uh, yeah. That was the holding stank that day. Yeah. <laughs> holding smell. So you guys got in trouble hate, for yeah. registration stuff on that? Too? Yeah, like registration. So yeah. why would they have to take both of you, not just the person? Because we who both had warrants. Oh, oh you because both. but okay. because of but, the like a, a tag. But but they're not. I learned later, and they st- they'll still do it. But it, they're not supposed to check the passengers' IDs. Really? Yeah, like, they always do. Though. They always do, right? Yeah. But they, yeah, like, you don't have to give it to them. You don't have to really. Give it to them. I didn't know that. I went to jail I didn't know that so either. many times. Like I was in a, I was in a uh, SUV with six people. I'm sitting all the way in the back, and they get everybody's license, and they come back, and they're and uh, they're like, all right, everybody's good, but the dude in the back, you, you need to get out, and come with us, and yeah. I'm the dude in the back. Oh, <laughs> and I had to get, out and I went to jail then too. Dude, no, sh- dude, because every time I've been pulled over in a in a group situation, yeah, even if I'm not driving, they. T- always check everyone they everyone's ideas they do i heard, I heard they're not supposed to man damn or i wonder you, you I don't w- have to i wonder can you look up and see if that's a if that's a rule here in texas probably could <laughs> well <laughs> let's, let's we're see just, we're just taking because i'm word curious, for it. I'm sorry, curious. sorry officer i didn't bring my laptop with me today yeah uh dude i just remember the first time i got arrested i was uh, on my way back to the high school mm-hmm. i was seven i was a young high school because of my birthday mm-hmm. i was 17 senior year Going back to pick up my friends that were still, I, I skipped that day. Yeah. But I was going to pick them up and we were going to go smoke weed. Uh, that morning, he had left his roach in my glove box and I was in my mom's car. Shout out Janice. She she knows about This is no secret. Hey, Miss Janice. Yeah. And uh, I got pulled over and I also had a bottle of whiskey underneath the seat. Yeah. And the cop, the cop comes up and goes, he knew me from a previous run in. Yeah. And goes, well, 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 Mr. Smith. Yeah. yeah. You uh, got anything in the car today? And I didn't know that you had to, that you could say no to like the search. So I just go, I know you're going to find it. I got a bottle of whiskey right here. Yeah. And just gave it to him. And he goes, all right, well, I'm just going to pour it out and want to let you go. <laughs> So then he he goes, but I am going to search the car. I had forgot about the roach in the glove box yeah. that my friend left. And uh, fuck you, Brian. Piece yeah. of shit. 
and he's in jail now. Damn. And so he found that and arrested me. And then the school let out, and every person that I knew saw me getting arrested. Oh, damn. Which honestly, it was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, Prison yeah, Mason. So, yeah. Prison <laughs> yeah. Mason. Uh, it says operators of motor vehicles are required to identify, not the passengers, unless the passengers are accused of vi- violating the law in the state of Texas. Which these cops here are probably says, just keep assholes. It, keep in mind that giving false identity or information to law enforcement while detained is a violation of state, right. yeah. the state of Texas. So. Okay. So, so you don't so have to, you don't, you can tell them your name, but you don't have to give them your ID. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. But you don't, you can just be like, my name's Nicholas. Which, well, since I'm in the system from Arkansas, yeah, do you think that it, it might it would just come up as my picture and name? So it wouldn't be like a, it wouldn't if I didn't lie, I wouldn't have to give them my ID, right? Wait. If I just say I'm Mason Smith, they'll just type it in. They or, can't. They can't type. Yeah, it but in. if they typed it in, they would. Yeah, you show don't you. give them your last name. You say my name is Mason. Oh, I can just say that. Yeah, don't, and give then, me, no, don't give me your last name. They type it in. Fucking Mason Smith comes up with warrants. You just no. I don't have. I I well, do not, not here, have. Not warrants. I'm just saying. No. Dan, well, well, they, they, they need your they need your license number too, right? I don't know if they maybe. can just pull it up with the name. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be really weird. Hard. I mean, I, these but co- if cops do but, whatever but they want. He, he, he has a record. And they already has photo. And let's say he did. They he did have something. Like, they pull that up. They pull it up and they look at the weed at the high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had a well. See, I had a lot of stuff, and then I didn't get arrested for a long time. Yeah. And then in 2017, I got arrested, and, mm-hmm. and I never went back for court. Yeah. So, oh wait, that's well, eh. I don't know. You've said it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't act like you have They about to yeah. they about come get you. Yeah, man. no, but my point is, it was just a misdemeanor. So, like, I think that after a certain amount of time, I think it just goes away. I was going to ask y'all, man, uh, if I can get a little racist. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Mason's been hoping you'd say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> when, Ma- when you said me and my brother... Yeah. Got arrested together. Mason's first question in his mind was, was it his real brother or just yeah. another black friend? <laughs> <Was he? laughs> is, your, is his brother black? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so uh is is this stereo is this a stereotype? The stereotype is that white people uh tend to skate free when it comes to the police or not or, in my or, experience. Or, or y'all can y'all can like give the police more like shit. I mean, dude, I just recently, my truck was involved in, so I was just leaving Vulcan, Mm -hmm. and uh, this was months and months ago, and I walked out, and I saw that my truck was inside the caution tape right there on uh, 8th and Neches. Okay. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? There's like, there was like four cop cars on Neches, and then like two in between my truck and these other ones mm-hmm. with tape everywhere. Yeah. And they yelled at me as soon as I got anywhere. I was like, what? Cause I'm, it's like 3 a.m. I'm ready to go home. Yeah. First day of sober October. So I wasn't drinking. So I was already irritated. Yeah. And I walk up and the dude goes, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, this is an active crime scene. Mm-hmm. You got to step back. And I go, what the fuck, man? Really? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, for real. And I was like, yeah, well, that's my truck right there. And I was giving him attitude. I was mm-hmm. like, that's my truck right there, and I want to go home. Yeah. And he's like, sorry, I guess you just have to get an Uber. And I was like, are you paying for it? And he was like, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, dude, this is bullshit. And he goes, well, how about this is bullshit? You either walk away or I arrest you for interrupting this crime scene. Damn, but I would never say any of that that you just said today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never. <laughs> Re- really? I called him a dickhead. I, I was would, like, yeah, this is I, fucking bullshit. I, I never. I'd be like, thank you, officer. You know what? I will go home. Oh, I, I'll walk if I need to. <laughs> I wouldn't say not, none. Man, I got pushed by the police. Really? Yeah. Uh, in, in Houston? In Houston, yeah. Were they just like, move? No, no, or? no, 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 no. They pushed the <laughs> shit out of me, man. <laughs> I tell, I tell, I, I, I've told the story on stage a few times, man. Okay. I was, I was, yeah, I was hanging with my my friend, uh, the the comedian friend of mine that I was talking about in New York. That's in the comic Ken Boyd, fat, funny comedian, by the way. Yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shot him. I'm like, yeah, Hell yeah. Chris Cruz. Uh, hey, do but, your thing, buddy. <laughs> but but uh, we're hanging out downtown Houston. He sees this chick that uh he used to know from high school or whatever she saw him actually she's like kim kim boyd is that you she like yells his name out and kim being the character he is he runs up and he's like he's like girl don't you ever call me by my government name in public girl don't you know people know me people looking for me and he's like like shaking her and choking her and stuff like that like like he he, but he's fight he's fucking around he's fucking around with her but she's like "Ah, can't you crack but you know he's fucking with the cops are like 
not, not far off. They just see a girl getting like. Yeah. <laughs> now is he black too? Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Ken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I should have prefaced that. Also, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if he was white, he, they. You know, I was gonna say. Yeah, they, they just they just let her choke the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Handle your business. They're just watching him. The white he's guy like, he's like, she must have yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. pushed you for no reason. Right yeah. now, get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, the cops come over. And they they was like, they was like, they was like, uh, hey, what the hell's going on over here? Da, 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 da. And and uh, you know, they they're giving him shit and uh, not knowing he was just jacking around, around with it. Yeah, yeah. So I I come over trying to uh, de-escalate the situation or so <laughs> yeah. I, or so I thought. And I was like, like, yo, officer, you know, he he knows her. That's his friend. And I I. Imagine you're the officer. I like touch him Tapped. like like, th- like just like this. He looks, pushes the shit out of me, right? Like I, I'm I'm a buck fifty. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I fly like 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 all the way to these like uh I'm like you know, like all the way to Did these. Did you fall? I didn't I, Yeah, but I didn't fall on the ground. Like I I fell into like there was like this uh like this stump. Yeah, okay. And and some bushes. So I fell into that, but I'm like 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 this all the way <laughs> and it was a distance <laughs> damn <laughs> away and i fall into that and then and that happens and then like six other officers come and crowd me they're like what the fuck is wrong with you don't you ever put your hands on a police officer and like i'm thinking i'm about to get my ass beat, yeah beat, yeah because like, they'll do that yeah yeah yeah. And, and they they just gave me like a verbal attack like you know like like don't you ever put your hands on a fucking officer i'm like oh, oh you got it you know what i'm saying and yeah uh, so so they walked off, and then uh, uh, y'all familiar with World Star? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, one of the cops walks away. He was like, "Yeah, you almost ended up on World Star." Oh God! <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where they Jesus. put like a lot of like fights and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like right, that. Right, and right. I was like, oh, like, yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Shout out World Star. Yeah. 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 <laughs> God damn. No, yeah. I would say yeah. I mean. One time I got pulled over with a quarter pound of weed in my car. Okay. And I had my, this was in 2006 or seven, And I had like, it was like one of the early license to like carry weed in California. Mm-hmm. And I was able to carry up to like five pounds with this. Oh, wow. Really? With this particular license. Yeah. That yeah. I had. Um, and I had just got out. I had, I was literally probably a hundred yards from the county line uh-huh. from where the, where it, where it mattered, where it was cool and yeah. where it wasn't cool. Okay. Okay. And I got pulled over where it wasn't cool. Damn. And I had a 95 Toyota Tacoma, uh, four wheel drive. It was just single cab. So it was just like behind the seat was the back of the truck. 95. Yeah. And this was what? I, this was in 2000. Oh yeah. You should have got it rested. Yeah. This is, yeah, it was like 2006 <laughs> or seven. White lives mattered there. <laughs> yeah. But he pulls me over and I'm still technically in this town called Clovis. I'm not back in Fresno County yet. Okay. But and I could basically see where Fresno County started. Yeah. And he pulls me out, or he, he stops me because I had like a brake light out. Just oh, okay. No oh, brake light. Yeah. I was just like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, p- p- comes up, roll the thing down. I have a QP of weed. It's, it's vac sealed, but you could still smell weed in my yeah, truck. Yeah. It's in the back in a bag with with my laminated government like doctor's note. Okay. And so he's like, he's like, sir, you pulled you up because you have a brake. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I pulled you over because you have a brake light out, but I, I have it. probable cause. You need to step out of here. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm like, all right, cool. I put my hands on the truck, and he like searches me, or he like, passes me down. He's like, is there anything, is there any weapons or anything inside that I shouldn't know about? I'm like, no. And he's like, hey, what about drugs? And I was like, I got a quarter in there. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, okay, cool. And he, he's like looking for it. He's like, it's behind the seat. Yeah. Well, I'm telling him where it's yeah. at. Like, yeah, not yeah, even, I was yeah, like, yeah. it's behind the seat. Pulls it out. I was like, it's in the black bag. He pulls out this like laptop bag I have. And he pulls out this giant bag. He's like, you said you had a quarter. I was like, yeah, it's a quarter pound, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. dumbass. So and he's, he goes, he goes, mur, 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 like, and I don't, I don't hear you. And he's just like, mur, mur, mur. and I was like, uh, keep looking through the bag, sir. And yeah. he's like, what? And he like goes, flips to, the, flips to the other side and pulls out this laminated paper and starts reading it and just goes. Mur, 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 yeah, mur. Yeah. Never mind. Puts it back in the bag, puts the weed back in there, throws it on the side of the truck and just goes. Get your fucking brake light fixed. Yeah, yeah. Just get out of here. Yeah. Get the hell yeah, out yeah. of here. Damn. Get but back to techni- Fresno, was, you hippie. I was technically in like a place where he could have really like put me down. Yeah, like, yeah. And right. I was just like, cool. Could've Even got- when I got my, I got a DUI a couple years ago. I got a DUI, blew a point two four. Okay, that's a lot, that's right? A lot. That's, yeah, a, that's lot. a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Point oh eight is the is point it, yeah. oh eight is the, <laughs> is the legal limit. Oh, yeah. I blew a blew point two four. It was I, a quarter. I was blacked out. Like I, I remember like. We were at a festival. I was camping. Long story short, I just remember waking up feeling okay and being like, "I'll go home from here." Because we were only like maybe forty minutes away from home. I was like, "I'll go home." This was a next day drunkness. Yeah, kind of. 
Do y'all know y'all drunk driving limit? What do you mean? Like, like, like legally or what I feel? Not like? legally, but like, like, oh, like if you had five shots of, vodka, I'm good. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I can have like a, a beer or two. Okay. If I beer so here's my rule. If I just so here's how. I, if I know I'm driving, I have like a certain point. But when I say this, if you ever hear me say I'm getting drunk tonight, Randy, and I don't drive. Those are the nights where I know there's no way I need Specifically it. Randy. Yeah, it's a Trailer Park Boys reference. Okay. It's a show reference. But yeah, I mean, there's times where he's been like, I'm driving. I'm like, no, nah, you're not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And but I, then did? And then did. And, oh. I'm like, and I, I specifically <laughs> didn't go back to the house. I'm like, I'm going to call an Uber home. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, Mason, God be with you. <laughs> but no, to, I, the, to my point about the stereotypes is even when I got my DUI, I'm, like, I just remember like waking up, saying, oh, I'm going to go home. And then wait, and then coming to with uh, lights in my rearview mirror, so yeah. I pull over, and they like give me the breathalyzer. They fucking, they're like, can you can you call someone to come get come come yeah, get you? Yeah, that's never happened to me. They're like, can you call someone to come pick you up? And yeah. I was like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, we're not gonna take you to jail. <laughs> we're just uh, nice. can you can you, if you can't find anybody to come get you right now. We're gonna have to take you to jail. And yeah, I was yeah. like, so I call my brother. Him and his wife show up. She's driving. He gets out of the car. Hey, officers. Shit face drunk. Yeah, like, damn. <laughs> she dri- <laughs> and then they just like hand me off to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, no, like we're both shit facing the car. And he's like, my little brother's like, first one on it. Because my brother, my little brother got one when he was like 19. Okay. Yeah. And he's like 31 now. Yeah. Or 30, yeah. He's going to be he 35 got, in he May got 19th. What? A DUI. A DUI. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When he was 19. Okay. Um, but, um, I was just like. Oh, I was like, man, cool. <laughs> just they just passed me off to an even drunken person, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So Damn. I guess to answer your question, maybe we do have it easier. Un- un- undecided. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. No, I got home. <laughs> I got. You home. gotta be the tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I, I got home, right? Yeah, yeah. And then my friend calls. <laughs> Nick's me. like, I killed a guy. Yeah, I got away with it, <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> my, fr- my friend calls me like 20 minutes after I actually get home from this ordeal. After my brother drops me off, and he just goes, Nick, did you get home safely? I was like. Yeah, I got home safe. Like, yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. okay, good, and click. And they yeah. just never told them that. I was like, I mean, I did get home safely. Yeah, you know? yeah, and they yeah, towed damn. your truck, though? No. Oh, they did tow it. That's right. They <laughs> did. I was about to say, yeah. God damn. damn. That's right. They did tow <laughs> it. What the fuck? Because I, I have did. had at times where uh, like, they let me go, but okay. but di- but then towed my they, truck. Yeah, yeah, which sucks, man. Which yeah. is a huge pain, but still gave me the ticket. So yeah. it's like, thanks for not taking me to jail. But yeah, uh, I remember one time, I got DWIs when I was 18, 19, and 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I remember one time when I was 20, uh, we got pulled over coming out of a party out like in the way north of my hometown out in the woods. Mm -hmm. And it's this really tiny town next to my hometown, which is also not a very big town. Okay. And he pulled me over and I was drunk and like we had been, we had just put a blunt out. Like, so we're smoking cigarettes. I don't even smoke. And I was lighting one up. I could tell by the way you did this. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We were smoking. You do have autism. (laughs) (laughs) And as you know from the last episode that was in this apartment, he does. (laughs) But uh, that guy pulled me over and goes, you were speeding and you were kind of swerving. Have you been drinking? And I go, uh, I go, yes. And he goes, well, I'm going to give you a breathalyzer. I said, I don't feel comfortable doing that, but can I do the field sobriety test? And I'm not even 21. He yeah. should have not even let me do that. Yeah, yeah. And he let me do the field sobriety, and I nailed it because I'm good at being drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he just let me go. And then like a week later, I got pulled over and got my second DWI. Damn. So you got two. On I've your had resume. three. You got three. But you would have. But they're four. gone now. They're off. Oh, okay. Because it drops they, off like it's, they crit. they go away after 10 years. Okay. Damn. You know, okay. It doesn't go away. Oh yeah, he just uh, just to answer your question, Herpes. warrants do not go away. <laughs> yeah, warrants do no, if it's they, a misdemeanor. No, they don't. Warrants, do they not? No. They so don't. you think I'm still wanted? In- yeah, it oh, says uh, no. Ar- <laughs> no, arrest warrants generally do not expire once they have been issued. A law enforcement officer can yeah. execute them whenever he or she encounters well, the subject. Well, so how about this? I got one for. I got pulled. You know, I did. Yeah. I was with a buddy who got pulled over in Boston, and they ran. And it, he did that fuckery where he took everyone's IDs and. uh I had a actually I had a eighth of ketamine in my pocket I believe, Damn. Uh, and they didn't search as a car because it was a car full of whites, and <laughs> and so not, not whites whites white yeah whites. <laughs> and uh, I turned he just gave me my ID back and didn't bring nothing about. Oh, 
Well, so yeah, I, I don't know how that works. Yeah. I think if I'm in, <laughs> I'd be fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. So I guess I'm just never going to, <laughs> which go. sucks because <laughs> was a really nice town. You can't go back to. <laughs> have you been? Uh, have I? I don't know. They have I, a comedy I, club I, there, if, I think. Yeah, if I do, I don't remember. It's very unmemorable. <laughs> if Waiting I, for the day you get booked in at that club. Yeah, no, I just won't be able to go. If I go, I'm snitching. You're like, yeah, no. Hey, hey. <laughs> Well, you gonna pull me up? Mason got warrants. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you find the motherfucker. Yeah. He's, like, he's, <laughs> he's sitting in the back seat. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna he was gonna host for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keyword there was right, right, right. just, just a let, Just let me go. <laughs> no, it is a cool city though. Have you ever been? No, I've never been. Have you been? been? I've never been. No. Anywhere. This is the this is the furthest east I've ever been. Really? Yeah, that's right. You've Wait, you've never been? Either. You've never been to New York or? No. Wow, no, no shit. That's this is crazy. the furthest east I've ever Dude, been. Dude, I've been east, west, everything. I've been yeah. all over the country. Yeah, yeah. no, I haven't. Uh, I've driven from Boston to Arkansas like five times. I mean, I understand when you're from Arkansas, you're like, I gotta go somewhere nice. Yeah, you got. Yeah. I lived in California. I was like, I'm gonna go two hours west right. and see the beach. Yeah, like, you have a lot more options. You know, like, yeah. yeah. And I had mountains this way. I had city this way. And beach northern that way. You know? Pacific Northwest is the most beautiful part of the country. Yeah, like, so, like, you know, like Portland, Seattle, uh, Seattle, Seattle. Love yeah. Seattle. Uh, I also I live. I've never I been worked up there either. I've never even been to Oregon. I uh, do. I want to go there. Portland has, uh, or so I've heard. Uh, like co- like stripper baristas like at the coffee shops. And stuff. I would believe that they probably got blue hair they had, too. Yeah. They had some of those in where my town. Like there was one called like Pink Panther, and there's one called like Bottoms Up or something like that. Because I knew a couple girls that worked there, but they yeah they're just in lingerie and these little tiny huts. You know the little huts you see like coffee huts like on the like corner a, like a kiosk. <laughs> yeah, but like the like it's literally just they've got a drive through window on. Okay, each side. yeah, yeah. Whoa, and they come whoa, up with whoa, bras. What was on. the name of that again? Pink, Pink, yeah. Pink, <laughs> Pink Panther. <laughs> And bottoms up. I'm pretty bottoms sure that franchises. Uh, Portland, Oregon has the highest uh, like uh, number of strip clubs per like capita. Really? Yeah. I, I thought. I think Flor. I think Florida. Actually, we should settle this because yeah. I believe Florida does. Yeah. I think like uh, Tampa because I always hear Bert talk. Bert Kreischer talk about uh, how Tampa has like that's like the thing you do. You Great. go to which I hate strip clubs. Who got the most? Wait, I remember the first strip club I went to. Wasn't what? we at a strip club together? At were the, were we at Red the, Rose? At the after the Vulcan uh, Christmas party? Yeah. You going to? Yeah, 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 we were. We were at Red Rose. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. See, that's fun. Okay. Like Big when group. some guy is giving you a stack of cash, Portland, and is you the don't home. have to pay for it. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Portland. Portland. Portland is the winner. Oh, Portland gotta, is the home of the okay. most strip clubs to, per capita. We got to go to Portland. But I love how you're like, weren't we at a strip club? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You was tame though. You was tame. <laughs> yeah, well, because like I mean, I'm just not into. I don't really like it. Yeah, it, but we had bottle service. We had bottle service. With those, we one did. of the strippers at the time. That no, that was uh, we had our no. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Mason looked shook. Was we at a strip club together? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I was like, wait a minute. But then I remember the only time I saw I'm, your nose in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what pissed me off about that night? This chick came up to me because we're in, so we're in bottle service. Mm-hmm. So they think that everyone in there right. has got money, even yeah. though it's because my boss yeah, had yeah. paid for it. Right, right. Like we, I, we were just tagging along. Yeah, you're right. And, and they come sitting. And so they yeah. think that you've got money. Yeah. So these two chicks come up to me and go, oh, you want to go to a private dance? And she's like, it's 50 a piece. And I go, well, I'll spend 50 on one, yeah. which was the money that it wasn't even my money. Yeah. So we go, we sit down, never even showed me her boobies, mm-hmm. just put her fucking ass on me for literally not even one full song yeah. and took is. my $50. Damn. Hey, how do you remember that time we had to go pick up what's her face from the strip club and like <laughs> and I finally gave in after like the eighth stripper came up to me and was like clap jab, slap jabs. She takes me down, sits me next to you, getting like a forty five minute long dry fucking <laughs> sits me right I swear to God, I was sitting there. <laughs> well, we, to we're, be we're, shut up. We're, <laughs> Mickey, check this out. Yeah. We're leaving a show, right? It's me, Mason, and this other comic. We're leaving a show, and he's like, can we go pick up so-and-so from work? I'm like, that's fine, because my truck's bit downtown. I'm with him. I'm like, fine, let's go. Well, we're driving over there. The other comic's like, I've never been to a strip club. Well, he somehow, he relays that message to whoever's talking. We, we get convinced to go inside. Yeah. They're like, and then, like, and we're like, no, we don't want to go inside. We're just here to pick you up. They're like, we'll give you a discount, da, da, da. We go in there. Mm. I still had to, pay, like, I was the only one with the debit card, and we didn't have enough cash on us. Yeah. 
and I still had to pay ten dollars each for us to go into this place. I'm like, I didn't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm out thirty bucks right away. Mason hands me a twenty, right? Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. He buys me a drink. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm sitting there drinking the the the, the way to out one, you know. Oh yeah, with one, the silver one jigger thing. of alcohol, just yeah. whoa, straight whoa, whoa. up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he knows exactly what I meant. He's a sophisticated <laughs> gentleman. It's that's that's the correct mixology it term. Is. It is. Created by a white man. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's the only way to describe Easy. that. It's yeah, the only way to yeah, describe yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Let me get to the let me get to the point. Moving so on. So I'm sitting there <laughs> I'm sitting there just this weak ass fucking drink. I'm irritated. We're sitting there. Mason's been gone for 30 minutes. I've had like eight different strippers come up to me. Finally, this one that's come up to me like four times. I'm like, all I got is 20 bucks. She's like, oh, yeah, I'll give you a dance. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. <laughs> give her the 20 bucks. Give her the 20 bucks. She takes me by the hand, sits me right next to Mason. Damn. <laughs> next to him. And I'm sitting there. Here's your and, dancer. Yeah. I feel like we laughed. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, I just, and then like, he's just getting dry humped to death. Yeah. And this girl's just like, kind of like, just shoving her boobs in my face and going like, Oh, so what do you like? And I'm like, what do you? Why like, does she have an accent? Like that? Why does she have an accent? I know you speak English. <laughs> why do you have this dumb like, accent? I like, am for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You like titties? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I kid you not. <laughs> she sat me down in the middle of a song mm -hmm. and got off me yeah. before that song even ended. It was seconds, 30 seconds, yeah. 40 wow. seconds, and then gets up and walks away, and I'm like, that's right. I'm out 50 bucks. Like, yeah, you know? dude. That's Strip clubs suck. It was the worst. Unless you're, you're, you're rich. money for a memory. Yeah, yeah that's it's it a is. it's a it's a it's a cool thing to do. Yeah, right now I've never even said I don't think I've ever said this on the podcast, but she doesn't listen to this. But <laughs> when uh, my ex and I got married, so my bachelor party was one for the it was like a movie. Oh man, you fucked somebody in the night. No, 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 no. I was I was extremely loyal, mm. but uh, <laughs> they ordered. So we went to this badass cabin in Vermont, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it was like in like, uh, must have been, they I think it was April in Vermont. They got strippers in Vermont? We got house call strippers. Okay, okay. And they all showed up. Two of them were smoke shows. One of them was kind of a uggo. But, you know, there's always one. Yeah. And so it was very fun. They give you a menu of things that, that they'll do and all kinds of shit. Like what? A menu? Like actually? Uh, yeah, they had a piece of paper. They, on, like like literally, it was a legit uh, menu. Special. What's on that uh, menu? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, dude, it was fun. It okay. was so cool. Yeah, it was it was a good it was literally and then when I showed up to the bachelor party, they I'll show you the picture after this. Yeah. They had a plate with bags of ketamine, <laughs> cocaine, and Molly all around the table. And then uh, in the middle they had four Xanax bars lined oh, up nicely. Man. The picture is very funny. I'll show it oh, to you. Cool. Yeah, it just reminded me how how like <laughs> How bad like I am with learning Spanish. Like one, I went to the strip club one time and basically paid two hundred dollars for a Spanish lesson. Like, well, uh, <laughs> 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 like I, the Spanish speaking stripper took me to like the back room, and like yeah, she's dancing a little bit, and 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 uh, you know. Um, I'm uh, speaking sp speaking Spanish, like you know, because I'm always trying to practice and stuff. And she's like, "Yeah, so this is how you say this," and da 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 da. And it was more of that than actual dancing yeah. going on. Because she knew. You, but did you tell her you wanted to learn Spanish? Well, I I, I was speaking Spanish to her. Oh, so, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's not the that you know that's. I kind of do that. That's I go, Mickey's I go, MO. When I go to strip clubs, I can only I go, speak Spanish. I go to, That's what I, I have to I learn. Go, I, I've been to like Spanish strip clubs where like I, I'll, I'll do that and, and you know, I'm, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But there's dancing too. But this this lady, it was like, like, damn, like, like I, the She's mission. out a notebook and yeah, pen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yes. And, then she, and then she wanted my, my shoes or whatever. She was like, yeah, you have to take your shoes off back here. And then she was like, I'm keeping your shoes. That's I'm more like, like a geisha house. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't she know. Tried to keep your shoes? Yeah, I'm like. You tried uh, to keep them also? Yeah. She, yeah it, I think she had. I'd was, have been pissed. I think she was on this like dominatrix type vibe or whatever. She's like, I'm, I'm going like, to tickle your feet. I'm like, you're not, I'm like, uh, you're not keeping my shoes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> these are Nike dunks. You're yeah, not yeah, fucking yeah, keeping yeah. these. <laughs> like, are you crazy? Like, that's really funny. Actually, you had to like walk out of the VIP clothes. Like, just no shit. And then they're, yeah. like, they're like, like, oh, you just, like, you just got beat on the court for shoes. <laughs> right, right, they're like, much. oh, Maria got another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of, kind of strip club is this? That's so funny. <laughs> they take your shoes. And <sighs> that's that's fucked up. That's mm -hmm. pretty fucking good. Yeah, I, uh, I remember the first strip club I went to uh, was in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah, and I was 18 years old, and my buddies were all like, "Hey, we're just gonna, we're going to go to a strip club." 
and I wasn't even prepared. Wasn't I was in sweatpants? I remember. Oh, you were prepared. Oh, then. Yeah. No, yeah. but listen, definitely yeah. prepared. Listen, this comes this comes out this comes around <laughs> later. I didn't know that that's a creepy thing to do. Because I'd never been to one. I just happened to have sweatpants on. Yeah. So I'm getting my first ever lap dance. Never had had one. And the girl goes, he's in sweatpants. <laughs> and I was like, they're Hollister. <laughs> <laughs> they're Hollister. <laughs> like, what the hell, lady? <laughs> Every time you go, you sweatpants for now. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I guess. And then later from the friend of ours. I find out that, that, that like weirdos will wear sweatpants yeah, in yeah. there. That's not yeah. a bad idea though. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think the idea of like just coming in my pants is weird. Yeah, and I don't know how you'd come from a lap dance. <laughs> coming in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a Janice exclaimer on all the strip club stuff. <laughs> I mean, she's going to watch it. Well, we still need to do it. Who is Janice? It's That's my mom. mom. That's your mom? Yeah, she loves the podcast. Yeah, she's sweet. I thought the other lady was Janice. Uh-uh. Your friend's mom. No. Brian's? Oh, okay. All right. No, no, no. no. You, no so no. you just call her Janice? Well, that's because the, 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 if anyone's seen the podcast, they know that Janice is my mom. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and again, when, like, when we talk about fucked up shit like on the screen... It'll say Janice exclaimer Janice and she'll up. know to fast she, forward. She, I'm her bit. only son, so she follows everything I do. Okay, so so these these strip club stories is definitely getting a Janice exclaimer, exclaimer for sure. Oh, okay. yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't mean we ever we never hold back. It's just like listen at your own risk, mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Hell. <laughs> Hey, hey uh, this this is the moment I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Miss Janice, I want to let you know that you have a, a a great son here. And he didn't he didn't really have his nose in nobody's ass. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that was just me talking. He's a great guy. Love you, Janice. Oh, right, we're back. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Thanks, uh, bud. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I think that's a pretty solid place to start with plugs okay you want to yeah mickey you got any plugs coming up butt plugs are just like right yeah, yeah you right. tell us what your favorite brand man <laughs> <laughs> wife's gonna be like what the hell are you, are you into now um yeah basically um yeah this show will be aired later oh, yeah when's this one coming out <laughs> on. uh, it would be he would have to do <laughs> the, I mean, the math on episodes it. probably right now you're probably six so give us six your- weeks you okay. got any plugs for like middle of summer? Nothing in the summer. For but, sure, you know, your I'll Instagram say, and social media. Yeah, yeah, stuff. I just do that. Uh, um, yeah, Mickey Housley on everything: uh, Instagram, Facebook, Cash App, and uh, Vimo, All that, all that cool stuff. I need to plug my Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I uh, book on Amazon Chronicles of a Stand Up Guy. Uh, definitely check that out. Oh hell yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're an author. I didn't know. I'm that. a published author. I think, oh fuck yeah! yeah. Skip yeah. right over that. I don't yeah. read. But <laughs> is there an audio well, the, version? Well, the, big, the biggest word is like stage. So you know, yeah. <laughs> Macy still won't read it. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an audio version, I, I'll. I, I need to, to make it. an audio yeah. version. My a dude I used to work with, he he was the same way. He was like, he said, Mick, man, if you make an audio version. I buy it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I just, it, yeah, it might I'm not honestly be. It might be worth the the, the little out of pocket expense. To okay, just have okay. someone read it and just like record it. I think it. what I'm gonna you do. Read it. Yeah, totally. I think what I'm gonna do is. I, you're right. You should read it for sure. But if you didn't want to, a little out of pocket, like you can get on Fiverr. Dude, and what, find it, what if I want me to read it? Oh my god, man! Oh, oh, that, oh please. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I want people to understand. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> all your story, like I'm sure there's like some personal stories in there yeah, too. Yeah, to be yeah. just coming yeah, out of that yeah, voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. What? I want Janice to be the. Hey Mason, uh, say, yeah. Mason she sounds even more southern oh, than yeah, I do. Yeah. Hey Mason, say collard greens. Co- well, uh, well, oh, collard greens. Okay, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna say colored <laughs> greens. <laughs> <laughs> colored greens, which uh, I don't eat, by the way. I think my next book, because I, I do want to do another one. I would definitely make an audio version of. That yeah, one. there yeah, you go. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, that 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 yeah, that's pretty much it. Hell yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, that's tight. And I got the sh- name one more time of the book. Chronicles of a Stand Up Guy. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. How yeah. long is it? Long? Uh, <laughs> I think it's like 160 pages. That's doing that's, it. A, that's yeah. 159 more than over. I, I yeah. know, I know. But it, it's in it's in the style of uh like a I was I was basically writing like a, a journal, like chronicling my comedy get down right. and, all, and all that cool stuff. So it's kind of like 
It's kind of in the style of a, that- of a of a journal, like certain days and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But uh, that sounds fucking cool as shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, well, Nick, go for it. Uh, check out Absurd Junk on YouTube. Check out the Osbo Coalition on YouTube. Crazy, out-of-this-world documentary series that you'd have to see to believe. And si- subscribe to the Sidecar Junkaroo magazine on Patreon. You can get a print copy sent to your little mailbox. Nice. Nice. I thought you were joking when you said that print was back. Print is back, baby. <laughs> print. I thought that was a bit. Print I forgot is to pick them up today, but yeah. <laughs> print print bit, As you just plugged your book. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. I mean, technically. Uh, all, right, all right, guys, check me out on uh, everything on Nick Fitzwell. You can check out my new book. Um, <laughs> it's about the struggles of uh, growing up with childhood asthma. It's called My Cough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, horrible plug of a joke, but Shout I didn't have anything for God a book. damn. Shout yeah, uh, Nick Fitzwell on everything. Check me out. Uh, yeah, the only thing that I think this would uh, even, uh, would the timing even be for June 24th? Oh, wait, Venmo, Nick Fitzwell yeah, sh- as well. Give me I'm, gonna pl- I'm totally Should. starting to plug my cash out. Yeah, might as well. Might as what well. What do you think? So yeah. get, please get tickets to Nick's Comedy Stop in Boston. I'll be uh, featuring for Andrew Vickers uh, June 24th, Saturday. And please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, The High Noon Podcast, High Noon underscore pod on Instagram, Mason Smith Comedian on Instagram. And uh, thank you for listening. Oh, wait. Mason Smith, tw- Mason Smith, <laughs> 121 on Cash App. <laughs> send, him, send him $10 or something. Yeah. yeah. We, we need to get into the strip club. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Thanks for tuning in to High Noon with that wily coyote, Mason Smith. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you next week on the Dusty Trail for more hijinks and fun. What did Jeff find that? Uh, that I had made. And the intro. Really? I love it. Yeah, thank you, I man. Love it.